Hi guys, in this video I'll be discussing how to run reports in Microsoft Dynamics CRM. Now, I'm aware that a lot of people that come to my website are already familiar with CRM, uh, but there's still some questions that I get, and uh, for those of you that don't know how reporting works in CRM, I would like to show it to you because it's actually really, really valuable to any company uh, to have this type of feature. Now, this is a fresh instance of Dynamics CRM. You'll see here that I have a bunch of contacts. This is all sample data um, from a fresh deployment I just put on about five minutes ago. Um, this is all my sample contacts and my sample accounts which come with CRM. Uh, and I'm going to be discussing with you how to run special reports to show you special data. Now imagine this is your entire business. Uh, every person you talk to becomes a contact uh, here in this window. Every person that, <clears throat> as a company that you deal with, will become uh, an account in this window. Uh, now, also, I want to bring up one more thing. The reason you see this loading thing, and it happens for over a couple of seconds, is because this is a hosted instance of Dynamics CRM, which means it's a little slow. Now, I have really good internet connection, and I'm assuming Microsoft Server is really good as well. But... I can also imagine the millions of people who are using this <laughs> and uh, causing congestion on the network. So let's get to it. I'm going to click on my reports button over here <coughs> in my workplace. Excuse my raspy voice. Um, I haven't been feeling well lately, but uh, let's keep going. I would like to now run some reports. Now there's a couple of built-in reports here, such as uh, activities, account summary, account overview, but I want to run my own report. Uh, based on their sample data. Let's say I want some fresh information uh, in real time about my contacts. So let's get at it. I'm going to click on New <coughs> to produce a new report. And I'm going to be using the Report Wizard to create a new report. I'll make my report name uh, Stuff. I'll just call it Stuff. And my primary entity, the entity I want to run my report against. For example, if I wanted to get information about my accounts, I would choose Accounts. Uh, if I wanted to get a report on activities, I would choose activities, but in this case, I want to run it against my contacts. So I'll be able to filter data over there. Uh, and that's exactly what you're going to see right now. You're going to see the filter screen. Uh, this is where we put our logic and our math. This is basically all verbal math. Um, I'm going to show you an example. Let's say I only want to view contacts whose first name uh, begins with a B. That's what I want this report to do. I want this report to show me, and this is exactly what the math looks like with anything in CRM. Uh, you can say, show me people who is uh, older than 30 years old. You can show me people who are uh, who owe me money since 30 days ago. Or you could say, show me only people who purchased uh, 10 bottles of uh, of you know soda for me, or you know anything. As a matter of fact, you, you can actually apply this to literally anything. Um, so I'm going to continue this report and now it's going to ask me what columns do I want to view which means what data I want to see in this report let's say I only want to see the guy's name and city or I can make it show me only the name and city so I'm just going to add a bunch of random columns here uh, I'll add the contacts full name obviously uh, let's add also his phone number um, and we might run a report against that uh, where is the business phone field business phone business phone there it is right here they have so many fields in here, and this is just an out-of-the-box installation. I mean, you can totally customize this uh, and make it whatever you want it to be. I mean, it's really great. It is really great. Let me here put the city and the state. I think that should be enough data. I don't want to spend too much time customizing what I'm going to look at. And we're waiting because CRM is lagging a little bit. I really don't like the fact that their hosted solution is like this. Imagine, what if you need instant... Uh, instant data and you're lagging you're getting a, a frozen window that would really suck but um, unfortunately that happens a lot and I think I'm done with the report I'm just gonna click on next uh, I want the report to show on the table and I'm going to save this report where's the finished button there you go and we have a brand new report here right now called stuff so now I can save and close this report and let's go to stuff and let's see what the report is going to produce me now the condition that I put in is that I want to see people's whose first name begins with a B 
and I'm going to now click on run report now, I haven't really looked at the sample data so I may get zero results and maybe not let's let's uh, take a look oh there you go there's one person brain Lamy uh, showed up and this person is uh, uh, name begins with a B so let me look at the context real quick maybe I can run more interesting reports for you because you can add multiple conditions which is really cool you could say show me people whose name starts with a B and uh, birthday is greater than 1972 uh, or less than 1972 whatever the case may be uh, let's see job title equals manager okay let's see if there's another guy here with a different job title or maybe there's another manager Okay, for job title over here, we have uh, purchase assistant. Okay, so let, let's use that in our reports. Why not? Let, let, let's, uh, let's filter this out again. Uh, let me go to edit filter. And now I'm going to say, uh, instead of show me first name, show me people whose job title uh, begins with, or let's say equals rather, manager. So I should get the same person essentially, and if there's any other managers in that company, I'll be able to see them in this particular report. Now I know I'm, I'm oh, there's two managers here. We have uh, Keith and Cook and Forrest Chan. Yeah, but didn't wasn't the other guy a manager also? This Brain Lamy guy. Let me take a look at this, because for some odd reason he's not showing in our report. Oh no, he's the owner. I'm sorry. So there's two managers, and we have the owner. So now uh, naturally, if I go into this report and I edit the filter again, and I say, show me who the owner is, I'll be able to get the owner, which is this Lamy person. But, oh wow, there's a bunch of owners. See, I didn't even know that. Cat Francis is an owner, George Sullivan, Patrick Steiner, Susan Burke, and uh, Ivana McKay. So there's a bunch of owners to this company. and. Again, I didn't know because I never looked at this data, but this report gave me that information. Uh, as you see, you see the states and the columns. Now you can customize this report to show you anything, and that is a really, really cool thing. Um, you can actually have your own data. Uh, if I open a contact here and I'll show you what I mean by your own data. You see how this asks for general things like first name, last name, phone number, etc. You can actually customize this to say anything. Uh, so you can enter any kind of data in there uh, no matter what it is and still be able to come up with these awesome uh, reports that are based off your custom field and this goes straight into Excel uh, that is the very cool part if I export this I can choose to export as a CSV and here's my open file pop-up and take a look and you're gonna see that Excel is gonna pop open with that data so now I can even take it to the next level of manipulation data manipulation and I can get more uh, focused results. So the export actually looks great. If you use QuickBooks or if you use any other type of software, you can re-import this back into something else. So that is a very cool thing um, that Microsoft had, had done with this version of CRM. Uh, and I guess that's it for the report section. Now, uh, this may be, uh, like I said, child's play type of reports because I'm showing you the very bare basics but you'd understand what the filter means I'm assuming and you would understand that you can choose any type of uh, field choose any type of logical uh, equation equals not equal contains greater than less than etc um, and you'll be able to do this with any field so that is an extremely uh, good thing to have and I create custom reports for people uh, you can have up to I believe what is it like 30 conditions in here you could say, tell me about a guy who has blue eyes, dark hair, uh, works at this particular place, in this city, in this state. So you get the idea of it. Um, and I guess that's it. So if you need any customized reports, or you have questions about reports, or uh, you want to learn a little more about them, I'll be more than happy to, to help you guys uh, or build reports for you. Uh, and that would conclude the video. So thank you for watching.